everyone, my name is Nat and I'm a senior physio here at Bodyset. Today I'll be taking you through some foam rolling techniques to help you recover quicker, recover from the injuries as well as prevent the injuries. I'll be taking you through some techniques for very common muscle groups that are really prone to tightness. So the first muscle group I'd like to discuss is calves. Many of us will have them pretty sore or tight, particularly people who exercise a lot or run a lot. So the way we foam roll calves, we place the leg on top of the foam roller. Now we lift ourselves up and start rolling up and down. All the way up, all the way down. If that's not enough pressure for you, what you can do, place another leg at the top, lift yourself up and now create more pressure. So aim to foam roll your calf for about a minute, really focusing on the areas that are particularly tender. If you find a tender area, apply pressure and hold that pressure. Make sure to focus on both the inside of your calf and the outside of your calf. Second muscle group we'd like to focus on is your quadricep muscles, the muscles in front of your thigh and your hip flexors, the muscles right under the hip bones. If we exercise a lot or if we even sit quite a lot more than usual this time, quite often these muscles end up being tight and that creates a lot of problems with our backs and with our knees. So the way we foam roll our quadricep muscles, we place the foam roller just under the hip and start foam rolling up and down, really pushing off with your arms, focusing again those tender spots in the area. For well, hip flexor, move slightly upwards just under the hip bone and find that tender spot. After a minute or two, you can finish the technique. So one more muscle group we'd like to focus on is our lats. Most people with lower back pain or shoulder pain are likely to benefit from a little bit of release of this muscle. How do we release our lats? So we're going to place a foam roller, first of all, just under our armpit. First thing you do it, it may be quite tender and you may hate me a little bit for doing that. So from here, we just gently start rolling up, really focusing those tender points. And as we roll down towards our lower back, we roll more and more onto our lower back into the middle and then roll back up, really focusing on those tender areas. Pain levels should be, it should not be pleasant, but it should not be excruciating. So pain four or five out of 10 is acceptable. The question we get asked quite often is, when do I foam roll, before exercise, after exercise or during exercise and ideally would actually want to form out before the exercise and after exercise that's to improve the tissue length promote some blood flow into the tissue and enhance the recovery and even improve performance if we form out prior to exercise What's important though is how we combine it with stretching, whether we do static stretching or dynamic stretching. After exercise, ideally we do foam rolling in combination with static stretching or before the exercise, we'd like to do a combination of foam rolling with more dynamic warm up. If you don't have a foam roller, you may purchase one from our store at bodyset.co.uk.